Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at implementing a data table. So a data table is a great way of you know presenting information. It's essentially a table that displays data. So a regular sort of table. It's because it's great because it has columns, it has rows, you could use it to provide maybe if you're you you know creating a new movie app, you know, movie time, movie release date, you know, information about that movie. And you know the built-in sorting, or you know sort of built-in sorting. We have to you know implement that ourselves, but honestly, it's not too hard to do. So the first thing we are going to create outside of this is we're going to create a class, and I'm going to call this name, and this is just going to have some basic props. So I'm going to put a string. I'm going to put f name, which is first name. I'm going to put string s name, which I think you can guess is surname. And then we are just going to implement a constructor. The constructor is going to be really simple. It is just going to be that this dot first name f name. So when you pass in a variable, it will go to the first name, be assigned to the first name, f name variable, and the surname variable as well. You don't really need much more than this. After that, we are going to create a essentially you know, a list of this. So we're just going to say var names equals name. And here we can just put name, comma, and then we just put our names in here. So I'm going to put for hard, Sorry, I need to put F name. I need to put S name. Okay, there we go. And so that's my name. I'm gonna add total of five. And I will put Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. I've just seen Captain Marvel, so I'm gonna put Carol Danvers, I'll put Nick Fury, why not Nick Fury, and for this one I'll put Crash Bandicoot, so Crash Bandicoot. Okay, so if we save that at the moment we don't get anything because we've just created a list and a class. So inside of here, we don't want a container. You could implement, technically implement it, implement the other child. But we're just going to overwrite the entire body and make the body the data table. It's not as hard as it sounds. So we're just going to put data table. And what is required is columns and it is rows. Okay, so for the columns, what you need to do is put, it's going to be a list of data columns. And in here, we put a data column. And in here, we will have what we're going to have is the label, which is going to be a text widget. And this is just going to say you know, first name, for example. And we are also going to have. A, you can do numeric, so whether it's numeric or not, false or true, that thing can have a tool to build the only other property that you can do. We'll do on sort. So on sort, we are going to say I and B. And we are literally going to say set state, so the actual state of the widget gets updated. We're going to say name, which is what we created up here. Names dot sort dot in. Nope. The slipped sort. I'm gonna say A and B. Okay, what have I done? You know, I'm missing something. Undefined name A. So A is undefined. Where where have I forgot to well, define it? 
actually, just give me a moment. Let me finish implementing this. So it's a dot f name dot compared to b dot first name. So the next one. Ah, it just needed to be fully implemented because it uses the arrow operator and then it basically compares it to the next one. And what we are going to do is add another column. I think you can guess what this column is there for. It is here. The indentation is just totally messed up. But who cares? And this is going to be for surname. So for S name. For S name. And for this is going to be Okay, so that's the data columns done. So that means there'll be two columns. If you want more columns, just put more data columns and then make sure that your you know your list here and your class supports you know more values. So it's just two values per row because there are two columns, but it's easy to expand on it. And as an extra task, I recommend that you do that. Okay, so for the rows, this is gonna be a bit more dynamic. So we're just gonna say names dot map. And in here, I'm gonna say we're gonna get like the each one's name. We're gonna say data row. So from getting each one, so basically saying you know go for each one, and we're going to create a data row for it. We need. Let me make sure I get everything here. Dot two dot to list there we go semicolon and inside of here what we want to do is cells so each data row has to have cells and because we have two columns we will need two cells we're going to put square brackets and inside of here we're going to have a data cell and inside of here we will need text and for this, I'm going to say name.fname. There are some other properties that we can do. We'll show edit icon if we want to you know, just display that. I mean, that's extra functionality. And on tap, you know, you can perform some sort of functionality. You can have a place order. I'm going to leave that as an extra task for you. But I'm just interested in the data for now. Now we're gonna add one more data cell, and I think you can guess what this is for. This is for the surname. So S name. So apparently we're getting an error. Does not like that semicolon there. There we go. We have everything from our array. So that is implemented by What's that implemented by? By by here here, and no matter what we add to our table, it will automatically get filled here. So let's test the sorting. As you can see, it sorts it. We can sort it based on the first or the last name. So that is fantastic. And again, you can add more as well. That's really it for the data table. It seems like quite a lot. It's more just a setup. Because afterwards, it left way forward to just delete these two. Did an update. I'm assuming I just need to do a hot restart. Sometimes you will. Yep, uh, that is working fine. So if you ever come across that where your code looks okay, you're not getting any errors, recommend just doing a hot restart. It's probably all it is. And there we go. So that's it. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.